What is up, Matthew Nemo here for Friday First Reaction for April 27, 2018. We have brand new Dairo Cascade 1788L and many, many more. So let's get started with Saints by Brohug. This is like the signature bro hug drum pattern right here. Okay. Haha. <laughs> I love the ravey fills. Very interesting. This whole song seems like a throwback actually. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> nice. These course remind me a lot of the SpongeBob episode with the jellyfish. You all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Part right here. Oh. That might be up there as one of my favorite bro hug songs, to be honest. Remind me a bit of some songs on the confession label, just very raw sounding with that singular pitched note throughout the entire drop. But their take on it was a bit more ravey, a little more turned up, which I really enjoyed. Definitely perfect timing for festival season. I can definitely see a lot of different DJs playing this, especially in those bigger festivals. So it'll be something I'll be throwing on a ton. A very fun song. Next up is Destiny by the Secret Boy himself, 1788L. It sounds like the <laughs> trailer for Worlds that just plays on repeat. Ooh, yeah, that's fucking ill. Straight to the point. Just another great 1788L track. If you're not already familiar, he just makes very, very loud songs that sort of sound like the Fresh Static Snow edit. If you don't know what that is, watch Porter Robinson live on YouTube and find out. First drop, crazy hard bass, louder than you've ever heard. And then the second one, super profound chords, you know, blown up in your face, which isn't bad at all. However, I just don't know how many more of these songs that I can hear and be super, super excited about every single time. I kind of want to start getting surprised by some of these 1788L releases and a couple other artists. However, definitely one of my favorite 1788L songs actually. Also the fact that it's on Spotify is even better, so I don't have to go on SoundCloud all the time. I'd say if you like that crazy, loud, headbanging energy, you're definitely gonna like the song. I'm quite a big fan of it, definitely gonna add it to a couple playlists. Next up is Drowning by Hood Boy. He had one of the best songs of last week. He's been on a bit of a roll, so. Let's listen to Drowning. Sounding very down tempo. Very interesting piece of the shop. Very pretty. Great little harmonizing on the vocals. Good harmonizing. Huh! Wow. This is a sick outro. Nice gospel y breakup RB action going on here. Honestly, the vocal sounds like something that Disclosure would definitely pick up. Just a little bit soft, a little soulful, but at the same time, just. Very, very catchy, which is good because Disclosure is nowhere to be found, yet we have 
Hood Boy. A Hood Boy, of course, going a little bit different route than a house song would go. You definitely want a little bit more halftime, but very beautiful production and very interesting switch ups. There's a little outro beat too, and the actual retro were very interesting. Now, after this, hearing this song and the previous songs we've heard on the show, I'm starting to think that Hood Boy is actually in that category where I want to hear a full project from Hood Boy. Now, I'm not necessarily ranting and raving over this song, but it definitely shows me his range, and I think a couple of people watching will also like it. Next up is What's Going Down by Stonebank, who had that amazing song, What You're Waiting For. A couple weeks ago, that was on the Monster Cat X Rocket League EP. I was a huge fan of it, so let's see if he sticks with that Electro House style or does something else with this song. Another Monster Cat release. The contrast in the vocal is a little bit of a mess. That sounds like a Jay Hardway song. WR28. Ah. These bases might be even more raw than the other song. This is the second one. I think he's compromising a little bit with this vocal. Like, one more for the set list. <laughs> Honestly, another one of the better Electro House songs I've heard this year. Maybe even harder basses than what you're waiting for, to be honest, but this song, I think, compromised a little bit with the two vocals that contrasted not only each other, but then also the song itself a little bit. Those parts of the songs sounded something like you would hear, you know, Ultra Summer Miami Compilation 2015 Mega Pack or something. Just sounds a little less genuine. More of like it's trying to chase a club track or something like that, which I'm personally just not a fan of, and I think to lose the song a little bit. So definitely not my favorite from Stonebank. However, I did think it sold, showed off some of his capabilities quite well. Next up is Coda by Funkin' Matt. Sometimes like side chain on the vocal gives a little bit extra bounce. Ooh, synth time. <laughs> kind of like how lazy this melody sounds. Hey! <laughs> Cute House Song by Funkin' Matt. Really simple, didn't really try too hard to be overly crazy or to be super melodramatic. Something definitely in between the two energies. I definitely wanna to listen to the song more, try to catch a vibe off it because I think it sounds pretty interesting. Next, by the Dutch legend himself, Dairo, we have Feel It Coming. Ha! No way! This is the most tasteful rendition of Flux Pavilion, Dr. Piera dubstep. Did not expect the dubstep joint at all. Ah. Surprisingly solid dubstep track by Dairo. I didn't. Definitely did not expect that going into this. He's only made a very, very small handful of dubstep music, however. It sounded like possibly like an older narrow track, however. It sounded pretty updated and new. Had a somewhat interesting texture to it. And then the vocals were pretty much standard diro along with the rest of the song. I'd probably say it's not one of my favorites, however, if you are a bass head, you're definitely gonna like the song. Next is Almost Back by Cascade. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can feel the vibe right here. This is like the slightest synth in the background. Ha! 
Oh, I know what this is. This is smart. Hey, who's Phoebe Ryan? She's very good. I bet she's. I love how this build has bounce to it right now. <laughs> this lead is actually pretty insane. You know what that was? That was Zed's the middle, but if the drop was good. That had some real dancey bounce to it. Whether it was the lead, the drums, the little like breathing, like cutting in and out. That was really bouncy. Cause this song is actually really in between dance and pop really, really well. I hope the song goes. I hope the course isn't too complicated for the white girls at the Lax house. I just think Cascade has super good selection when it comes to finding good vocals and then pairing it with a really good instrumental. This is definitely one of those. Big fan of this song. Next up is Let Me See You by Gasly and Crank Dad. I'm already liking the anthem vibes. Ah, this is gonna be very cute. All right, this is a little obnoxious. <laughs> okay, a little aggressive. This is a very, very pretty interlude. Very trancy, actually. The thing is, this part's so pretty, but I just think the drop itself is a little too, too fucked up. Haha. <laughs> I do like this bit switch up quite a lot. Well, I don't mind how dirty that drop was necessarily. I don't think it fit the interlude in the builds that much. There was too much of a contrast in the energy between the build and that drop itself. It just didn't build me up for how rude that sound was gonna be. So I can see it being a little bit of an ear scratcher and people not necessarily responding to the song too well because of that. I do like the B switch up to the halftime for the drums on the second part of the song. Sound like the bass is fit a little bit more there. And also, well, I'm happy to see Gasly and Crank Dat collaborating. I think the song is just a little bit of a miss. Probably won't be going back to it. And definitely not as good as the Barrier Live song from last week because that song is just next level execution. All right, so now it's time to listen to the entire new Zoo EP titled Ringo's Desert Part 1. I'm listening to all the songs back to back, and then you'll hear my thoughts of the whole project at the end. First up, Story Love, featuring Joy. Okay. Almost African jungly. Nice. I just like all of the guest vocals on Zoo's songs more than his own voice. Haha. <laughs> right now I'm trying to think of what movie this would fit in. Like a futuristic cowboy flick. Very interesting picture that's being painted right now. Damn. Still want you featuring Carnival Blues. Also, I'm gonna use TR on Adult Swim. Is this Zoo? This is way better than his high pitch music. This is way better than his high pitch singing. It's very pretty, but a little boring. Guilty love, no features. Definitely more like his regular sound of this one. Do all these phone skits in these songs come from a sound pack? Is there someone that just cranks out dramatic phone conversations ever since Drake did it on that one song? Back in Take Care.
Percussion's so good. Ooh, that guitar is fancy. Ooh! Nice. Haha. <laughs> you can just put this on a loop. Could be the whole song. Desert Woman, no features. Feeling a banger on this one. This is already a house joint. You can tell. There's some also very subtle Arabian vibes, but not in that cheap cashmere way. It's like so subtle that it actually sets like a mood, like here. This could be a movie score, I'm telling you. Straight vibes. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes his voice just cracks me up. Oh! These filtered bases are wild. Ah, oh, damn. Ooh! <laughs> Dude, this is Zoo making his best techno. Whoa. It's like weirdly raw. He's just cutting off the reverb at once. Burn Babylon featuring Featuring Kesnami and Daniel Wilson. This might be the make or break song. Oh, all right. I expected funk. Ooh, I don't know. Oh, shit. Do we have the worst zoo song I've ever heard? We had an immaculate project. Yeah, maybe two left to center, skip. Is it an interlude? Sounds very interlude -y. Hot. It's hot. That ARP is bad AF. This is good. He's really bringing me back. Please don't be an interlude. This is pretty. Put this on the Tumblr page. That was the best intro of the whole album. <laughs> Fuck it up, Zoo. Wow, I just noticed how dope the album art is. That's a very cool cover. Ringo's Desert Part 1, really just showing really what Zoo does best, but even further reaching into that aesthetic bag <laughs> that is that desert, Sahara even Arabian at times vibe. This product does a really good job of being in between the atmospheric and really setting a scene, almost like a movie, but also at the same time being functional in a dance EDM sense. Right now, I'm gonna have to say Desert Woman and Stormy Love are probably my two favorites at the moment. Even though I did pretty much enjoy every single song this album quite a bit, except for the one with the two male features. That's probably one of the few songs that I strongly dislike from Zoo. Probably definitely will not be going back to that one. Just another very strong project from Zoo. Definitely gonna be bumping a lot of these songs this summer. And of course, I'm always gonna be looking out to see him live because this stuff just totally sets an amazing vibe. Favorites of the week. Number one is gonna have to go to Saints by Brohug, a crazy well-executed dirty house song. Definitely gonna be playing that in a lot of different situations. And I really just want to let's do it right now and get this video over with. Number two, Almost Back by Cascade featuring Phoebe Ryan. Really that pop sound that Zed popularized very recently with the middle and that song from probably like a year ago. 
but executed super well with enough interesting elements to even get someone that's more of an EDM purist like myself to really enjoy that song. And then lastly, Desert Wind by Zoo for a six minute song. It held my attention the entire time. Some amazing sounds. Almost on like the dead mouse level where I can just listen to that song forever, space out to it. Definitely a song for the long car trips this summer when you're on your vacation. Just something really cool to space out to. So those are my favorites of the week. Comment below what your favorites and if I missed any songs. And also, what do you guys think of Zoo? I am a huge fan of Zoo, and I think he has actually true star power. However, there's just something about some of his songs that I think are a little bit of put-offing for that mainstream crowd. And I know he's not going for that sound. However, I just think it's personally a cool thing to see if Zoo really blasts off to that big, big level. That was Friday First Reaction for April 27, 2018. Everyone that's at school and in finals week, good luck. I'll see you guys next time. Why?